hello everybody and welcome back to the channel we discuss all things aviation angelo to be here welcoming you back today we're discussing a quick fact um the title is uh, the water salute or it's also known as the shower of affection what is a shower of affection or a water salute you've probably seen this online or you've perhaps observed it at an airport while you're traveling or it happened to you while you're inside the cockpit so a water salute is an occasion where an aircraft taxes onto the ramp and as it taxes through two water cannons positioned on either side of the aircraft spray a fountain of water to form an arc over the aircraft water salute has become a tradition now within the aviation sector but where did it begin it is now accepted that it began from the maritime industry where ocean liners going on a voyage for the first time or entering a particular harbor for the first time would have tugboats positioned on either side of the of the ocean liner and spraying the water onto the ocean liner to celebrate its coming into port. So it's not clear when the aviation industry took up this particular tradition and adopted it, but it's known that during the 1990s it began being adopted by airlines across the world, such that today most airports are able to do the water salute or the shower of affection. So when is it done? Basically, it's an occasion of honor, an occasion of showing respect, an occasion of showing gratitude. Quite often, when, an, when a captain of an airline uh, retires, their last flight as they come in will be sprayed with the shower of affection to symbolize the gratitude that the airline has for that particular captain. Um, it's also used when an airline goes on a new route altogether. When it lands on that first leg of the route, uh, of that new route, that airport, upon arrangement with the airline, may organize a water salute for that particular airline. Is this whole process not a waste of water, you may ask? On the contrary, it is not. Number one, it gives emergency personnel an opportunity to test their equipment by showering this particular aircraft. It also gives them an opportunity to exercise or to practice using their equipment and to see that the equipment is still in good order and serviceable. Can the water salute go wrong? Yes, indeed it can, and it has in the past. A number of, uh, of factors can, can cause this to go wrong. Uh, number one could be weather. For instance, if the wind changes direction and speed, obviously whatever your target was, you will not reach it now with that water cannon. It will, the water may, may be all over the place, may end up splashing on people walking across the apron, etc., etc. Number two, it may be equipment failure. If the pressure coming out of that particular water, water cannon is not sufficient, the water cannon may not even reach the aircraft meaning that your water may end up landing where it's not supposed to land and causing havoc there or alternatively you may not necessarily achieve this aesthetic that you wanted to achieve by placing two water cannons on either side of the, the fuselage. Number three, it could be that as it has happened before, it could be that uh, the, the truck sprays foam instead of water and you get a different result altogether in that particular situation and you may actually damage some of the components um, of, the, of, of the aircraft. Number four, it could be a question of planning. If you plan, if you don't plan properly, if you place your, your trucks too close or too far, you may not reach the aesthetic that you needed to reach by you know, throwing water in the air like that. Now, there are instances where this has happened. In one instance, actually, the water cannon managed to, to, to damage the aircraft door. It's also important for the captain to announce after landing that there will be a shower of affection. Otherwise, passengers will freak out because um, we process things differently. You know, for some people, if they see a fire engine dousing the aircraft with water, the immediate reaction in their minds is, we must be on fire. The aircraft must be burning. And that may cause panic and pandemonium and lead to unnecessary... Um, injuries about that aircraft so it's important for the um, for, for, for the captain to announce that this will be happening so that passengers are aware and they're not taken aback when they see water being splashed on them and they don't think they're gonna die in the next few minutes has this been done in South Africa indeed it happens as and when it has to happen for instance in the past few months South African Airways bought a350 Airbus a350 um, aircraft and upon landing at Ortambo, there was fanfare, there was much fanfare about that, the media was there, and a water cannon salute was there as well to symbolize the arrival of the new beds on South African soil. 
that's it that's all we had today on our quick facts session and i hope you enjoyed this short short video and if you did please click the like button below and also do not forget to subscribe it's the only way we can grow the channel keep pushing on your aviation journey as an aviator as a potential aviator as an aviator already established in the field remember with every hour the cockpit beckons whether you spend that hour studying for your exams whether you spend that hour writing your exams whether you spend that hour in the gf practicing your exercises whatever you do every hour that you add cockpit back on.